Today we're going to be learning how to sharpen your footage in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now one of the things that I recommend that you do before you shoot is to turn off the sharpening in your camera or turn down your sharpening in your camera. Uh, most cameras have a sharpness level that you can turn up and down. Definitely recommend turning that down. Videos are always going to look better if you turn down your sharpening in camera and then you add sharpening in post. So guys, without me blabbering on anymore, Let's get into Premiere. All right guys, so we are once again in Adobe Premiere Pro. I've got this video of a guy here that's on his phone, probably on his break from work, just chilling, hanging out. And uh, we're gonna sharpen this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the effects tab and you're gonna type in unsharp. You're gonna see the unsharp mask right there. Now I know what you're thinking, unsharp, but we're sharpening our footage. Uh, trust me, this works. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the unsharp mask, you're gonna drag it over to the clip you're gonna see it pop up right in your effect controls. Now you can see we have three different things going on here. We've got amount, radius, and threshold. So the first thing we're gonna focus on is the amount. So if I take the amount and I turn it all the way up, you can see it really sharpens our image. You can see even we've got some fringing going on, some grain and noise and all that stuff. It's not very pretty. That's where we're gonna to go to the next two. So the second one that we're gonna work with is the radius. Now, if I turn the radius up, Kind of like upping the clarity when we're working in Lightroom, right? Just doesn't look that great. It's a little bit too much. So we're actually going to turn it all the way down, just like that. Now that's going to help get rid of the fringing or haloing that's happening on the hard lines throughout the image. Next is threshold. The cool thing about threshold is threshold allows you to uh, kind of choose where you want your sharpening to be happening. So right now we've got sharpening happening throughout the entire image. It's happening here in his face, his clothes, windows and the building and stuff like that. You can see we've got a lot of grain and a lot of noise. So if we were to just adjust this, we can only go zero to one. That's as high as we can go. So instead what you can do is you can click this little arrow here and this will allow you to control the amount of sharpening that's happening throughout the entire image. So I want you to watch specifically on the building there as I turn this up. If I turn this up, that starts to go away. Now I wouldn't recommend going too far with it because you don't want the image to be too soft either. So you want to be able to keep some sharpening. If you go all the way up, it's kind of kind of start to defeat the purpose of the sharpening. So start at zero, bring it up until it looks nice to you. I think right, right about there looks really nice to me. So we've adjusted our threshold here. Now one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to adjust our amount because we do still want it to look natural. We don't want it to look like it's been sharpened in post. We want it to look like it was filmed this way. Like he woke up like this. So we've got it at 300. We've got this at 0.1 and we've got our threshold probably about one third of the way between zero and one. So if we go to our comparison view and see the difference here, it's a lot sharper here. Everything looks good. We've gotten rid of that grain and that uh, noise that was kind of happening and it just looks really nice. So that was pretty much it. Uh, it's a super quick, simple thing that you can do to make your videos look a lot better, make your videos look sharper. Uh, just again, don't go too far with it. And uh, yeah, guys, let's get back to my face. All right, guys, so that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button below. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, you know, turn on that little bell notification so you can be alerted when I upload new videos. I'm gonna be uploading a lot more now that uh, I'm stuck at home all day. So, like I said, hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video.